Guys, it's Bigly here, aka Murli Vijay Kumar. This time we are in a segment of Eat Your Food, and this time the macronutrient is carbohydrates. First of all, I want to explain something about the viewers. A uh, lot of questions on my inbox, Facebook, and stuff asking about uh, my previous segment and asking me to give examples of which protein is best, which protein supplement is best, and so on and about eating your protein for fat loss and muscle gain first of all this is going to be a lengthy series guys there are going to be a lot of segments we are going to analyze each macronutrient food timing and etc so as we go through the segments you'll be knowing everything that you want to so with that note let me start with this segment on eat your food carbohydrates you know carbohydrates there are different types of carbohydrates basically we split them into three one is your monosaccharides which is a single sugar molecule that can be readily absorbed by your body the second one is going to be disaccharide something like maltose which has two molecules of sugar linked together and the third segment is the polysaccharide which has many molecules of sugar linked into a chain why the difference you know uh, let me just explain the term glycemic index before we get on why the difference so that you'll be able to absorb the matter clearly. Uh, <coughs> sorry. When we are looking at a glycemic index, it's a term used to represent either the speed at which the carbohydrate is absorbed into the body or it could be referred to as the amount of insulin spike that a carbohydrate can generate. If the carbohydrate is of very fast absorbing material, it's just going to enter your bloodstream immediately and your body has to secrete insulin to dispose them into the required muscles or fat cells based on whatever it is. If it is slow, your body need not secrete that much insulin. It can release it in a steady pace and move the blood sugar released into the blood slowly into the muscles. So with that being said, glycemic index of sugars are going to be high because they are going to be of the variety monosaccharide and disaccharide monosaccharide can be something like your glucose the dextrose uh, which is a single molecule so you you know like most of the athletes recommend dextrose immediately after you know like strenuous training this when provided with protein increases the uptake of food so that's how you know like uh, we designed the diet then disaccharide is something called maltose or sucrose which is going to be a little slower than the sugar but these two are pretty fast and if you look at the polysaccharide the th third variety that's the friend for all of us in the fitness field you know uh, if you are taking a polysaccharide breaking down the different molecules is going to take some time and then it is slowly absorbed into the bloodstream and as and when it goes into the bloodstream your body secretes a small tiny pulse of insulin which is required to dispose them into the muscle with this case uh, you know the three carbohydrates find different purposes in our diet for example if you need immediate energy you have to resort to sugars if you need uh, uh, sustained release of energy you resort to starchy carbohydrates so for example in your breakfast lunch and dinner you might be going with the starchy variety and around your workout you might just be resorting to a combination of sugar and starch so the food timing is very important when it comes to carbohydrate we will look into more detailed analysis of food timing in the coming up section remember carbohydrates are your energy source it's a fuel to your body if your requirement is fast energy go for sugars if your requirement is sustained energy go for the starchy carbohydrates that's all in this segment of carbohydrate guys over and out